Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and on today's episode of My Favorite Pens, we're going to take a look at a Paul Wirt overlay. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we have a very early Paul Wirt fountain pen. Um, I can't quite give you the exact date. All I can tell you is this has um, the imprint on the cap on this pen, which is not terribly unusual for, for this vintage, but it's a little more uncommon. Obviously, there's no place on the overlay for it. Uh, but Paul E. Wirt, and it's around the cap, Patent February 83, so uh, 1883 patent date. So somewhere in the uh, mid-1880s, this was manufactured. Um, it doesn't quite match up with some of the patents, so a little further research is required. Um, but regardless, let's take a look at this fantastic pen. Um, it has what you call a snail-style overlay. Um, or chased pattern, as it's sometimes called. But in this case, what's what really makes this fantastic is we have these large snail patterns, and then we have small ones intermingled in between the large pattern. So here we've got four large snails, but then we've also got these little guys here. And this is this is nice relief work. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it high relief, but it's it's you know higher than normal. Um, it's got a beautiful engraving here. Um, it looks like it's MCM, uh, and this would have been a very very special pen. Um, the pen is otherwise unmarked except for the the cap. There's no model numbers, nothing. There's a couple of breather holes up here. Um, and when I, when I originally saw this pen, uh, I was a, a good friend of mine who comes up to me and he, he brings me a lot of interesting pens. And he had this pen and he also had um, a more unusual Waterman overlay. And I chose this pen because this is just so unusual. Um, you'll see Waterman overlays all the time. Even the one he was showing me was a little, even though it was a little more unusual, uh, you can find it, you just almost never see this particular wort. Um, it's a slip cap, and I'm going to carefully take that off. And we're going to look at it here. 14 karat nib, and what I love about wort is they had a very interesting design. Uh, this is number three nib, and you'll notice it, there's no vent hole. And wort's big thing was they vented out the feed. So instead of putting a hole in the nib, we'll put it in the feed. We'll keep the, the nib nice and beautiful. Uh, very simple engraving, wort number three, and that's all there is to it. Um, it's a fairly springy nib, as it should be for its, uh, for its era. Um, if we were to post this, It's a fairly typical length for this era. And you can see how it fits in the hand there. Now this is an eyedropper, so of course it's a little stiff, but we open it up. There's not much in the way of a feed there. And that's all she wrote. Get your eyedropper, fill it up. A little silicone grease on there to make it easier. And you're in business. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful, full, very busy, very busy overlay. And I like it. Um, you know, it was obviously done by hand and it was just, it's just really something else, you know, and today's pens just don't even, don't even compare uh, to this kind of 
this kind of art. Um, the closest you get is, you know, maybe some of the Japanese maquillé, uh, which is hand painted. But this is this metal work is just it, it's something else. It's breathtaking. Every time I see something like this, these chase patterns, the snails, uh, I just I, I stop and I look because they're just the detail on every every little piece is is amazing. The way that they 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 fit in around the engraving plate here. It's just beautiful. Um, and it's one of my favorite manufacturers, Paul Wirt. Uh, it's the period I love. I love the, uh, the vented feeds. It's just all of that added together is one of the reasons it's, it's one of my favorite pens. So there you have it, a Paul Wirt overlay. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com, our store in Appleton, Wisconsin, or at any number of pen shows nationwide.